All right, we are back. Fallout 4. Oh, God. What a horrendous stream we had last time. Um, we were sent here to University Point to clear out this entire kind of complex, well, this building in particular, but this kind of courtyard as well. We had to clear it out from not only synths, which are hard enough, because they shoot back, but also Milerks. Yeah, and not just any Milerks. Uh, no sorry, Bob. Ooh, Sylvie's Hall Tech. Nice. Um, but, um, what was it? It was a Razor Claw Mylurk, and it was a Glowing Mylurk. I mean, the Razor... Well, the, the, the Glowing Mylurk one was the harder of the two, but I kind of dealt with it easily because I was able to get into a high place where it couldn't get up to, and then I was just able to blow it up with a missile launcher, as, as you do. But the, um, the other fella... Oh my, he was he was quite the issue because um, well we he he popped up and we had to melee him basically we we took him on on melee style and and that wasn't cool he oh god okay <laughs> brilliant um god damn it but yeah yeah fun was had oh and we also uh, casually took on a death claw as well uh, as you do as you do yeah. First death claw that we've actually fought in a very, very, very long time, and we did not perform very well. Blew ourselves up on our own bottle cap mine quite a few times. Why am I suddenly in caution? I cleared this place out. It told me quest completed. Who the hell is suddenly here? Is it some kind of gargoyle that's turned from like, like become real now? I think I heard robot chatter there. Simps, please. I love you guys. I'm part of the railroad. Where are you? Let me murder you. <laughs> Deacon, don't don't listen to me. I don't really want to murder him. I do want to murder him. I want to murder him so hard right now. Alright, so what are we doing today? To be honest, I... Oh. Deacon, please. Deacon, stop it. <laughs> I don't need you scaring me like that. What's Deacon gone for today, by the way? Let's have a look. Come, come into the light, buddy. Come into the light. What have you gone for today? You've gone for uh, Bruce Willis uh, in, a, in a lab coat. Brilliant. All right. Okay. So what are we doing today? We are going to get back onto the main quest line uh, story thing because I feel like it's been a bit too long since we've done one of those. I think the last one that we did was for Nick Valentine. Um, we uh, found the vault. Um, which where Nick Valentine was being held, and that was pretty much the last thing we did for the main quest line. So I think we're going to do that after we've given in all the quests that we currently have, because apparently there's a lot of quests that I haven't given in. When I say a load, I mean like two, but two is still quite a few. So, uh, yeah, I also feel like I should scour this place as well. Apparently they were selling armor here? Like, legit armor, or just like, crap armor? Like, baseball kind of helmets and stuff like that, because I'm, I mean, I'd love to RP as a baseball guy, but I don't think it'll do so well. I don't think I'd do so well dressed up in baseball paraphernalia. Um, anything up here? Nice little crib. Yeah. Anything else? No? Any safes? I like opening safes. I think safes are my favorite thing to open. Uh, oh. Oh, hello. Now, why didn't I need to kill you at the end of last episode? I'm not quite sure why. The, oh, um, that's gonna do nothing. Let's get, let's go close. <laughs> All right, headshots, 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 Malloy. Let's do it, Roy. Oh, 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 oh. That's doing nothing. That did a grand total of nothing. All right, spray and pray, spray and pray, spray and pray. Yeah, yeah, you get down there. You get down there. Let Deacon help. Tag Deacon, you're in. Deacon, you got this, buddy. All right, I got, I got this now. Deacon, tag me in. The Darkness 360 has joined my little stream. Darkness 360, welcome back to the stream, my my lovely, my lovely follower. I appreciate you being here. What are my stats? What my um my stats in this game? Let's find out, shall we? Let's find out together. Uh, they're not great. <laughs> they're, they're not great. Uh, strength is one. So uh, yeah, not quite sure why I dropped strength down to uh, down to one. But strength is actually one. Apparently it's ten at the minute for some reason. I think I ate some like Queen Mylurk meat, which gave me like I don't know, a buttload of strength, but uh technically it's actually just one. Um 
But yeah, Darkness, how you doing? How you doing, my good friend Darkness? How are you doing today? God, this place is really deep. Quite a lot to this place. I mean, I've not found much in terms of loot, but a lot of these different stations kind of... Oh, generator? Can I... Wait, can I activate this? Telling me I can. Wait, can I... Oh. Talk to... Oh, it's been a week! I can talk to Jack Cabot about the artifact! Brilliant! Alright, uh, we're going to be doing that as well. Deacon, please move. Deacon, please. Um... Oh god, I've been completely thrown off by a generator. Can I have this place as a settlement? Like, I feel like I should be able to take this as a settlement. Um, the darkness is good, ladies and gentlemen. So you still want to play as a heavy? Oh, oh darkness. It's, it's been a sad tale for Roy Silvers, my, my character here in Fallout 4, because initially, Roy Silvers really wanted to be... Um, a stealth guy. He wanted to be the big bad stealth guy. And yet the game relentlessly kicked his ass. Like non-stop. It threw everything at him. And I mean look. Roy Silvers at the start of the game. He was using pipe pistols. He was using effectively no armor. And he was being put up against surprise Myalurks. And all that kind of garbage. And so... I've been forced into going heavy. Wants word. God, doesn't doesn't he always drum a boy? Jesus Christ, always giving me the bad news. I don't want to talk to Carrington, all right? I want to talk to my my love interest, who's still smoking. Honey, please. You need to stop smoking, love. Please keep it that way. Okay, Desdemona. Desdemona, if we're gonna get married, you need to stop smoking, okay? I mean, I don't want my kids breathing in your air. <laughs> Randolph is still operational? Oh, finally, some good news. We yeah. thought they were another casualty of the switchboard disaster. No, no, no. Randolph's been dark for too long. It'll be controversial, but we have to put them under quarantine. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he, yeah. Like, it might be... When you level up level strength. Alright, fair enough. Will do. Um, yeah, he might have been replaced by a simp right now. You never know. If he's been off the grid for a while, he could be a simp. So, um, yeah, your call. If that's your call. Yeah. We'll play it slow and safe and make sure they're our people before we bring them back into the fold. Exactly. Our only communication with Randolph is going to be by dead drop. Check in periodically with Drummer Boy. He coordinates the dead drops for us. Right, I want to do Thanks. no more quests for you for a little bit, Desdemona. Not, I don't want to clear out anything. I don't want to get any dead drops. I want to do cool things today. But I do have to speak to Carrington, apparently. Oh, thank God. Look at that experience. I mean, we might be leveling up strength sooner rather than later, uh, Darkness. So, we'll have to see. We will have to see. Alright. Daniel Carrington of Perfect Dark Fame. Talk to me. Oh, can I step, got stim packs? No? Alright. A raider gang has captured one of our agents. Yeah. Codenamed Blackbird. Lovely name. The twist is, we thought he was already killed. Oh. At Augusta safe house. That is quite the twist. To the far-fetched hope that A, Blackbird is alive. Yeah. And B, he can tell us what happened to the synths held at Augusta when it fell. So, you, uh, so I'm supposed to bring to him back. Fool's errand. Okay. Um, Fool's errand? Like, what's the, what's the deal, Daniel Carrington from Perfect Dark? If you chain too many assumptions together, you rarely get what you bargain for. I doubt we'll find more than a body. The dead drop has the full briefing. Raiders aren't known for keeping their captors alive. Yeah. But, since you're risking your neck... I mean, look, that's the kind of guy that I am. Fool's errand. I mean, my entire life has been a fool's errand, Dr. Carrington, so... It's all good. Wh why do I need strength? If, I, if you don't mind me asking... Like, when I, when I looked at the strength stat at the very start of the game, it, well, in fact, it tells me now, strength is a measure of your raw physical power. It affects how much you can carry and the damage of all melee attacks. I don't really do melee attacks, and I've had very little issue with carry capacity. So, like, if I'm mainly relying on guns, why would I need to raise strength? Like any higher than it is. Like if I was doing like a fist only run, like melee weapon only run, 
or if I needed more carry capacity, then maybe I'd increase strength. Like, if you know something that I don't, then go ahead and tell me. Oh, it oh it affects big guns as well. Right. Okay. What? So do I get increased damage um, from big guns if I have higher strength? Is that what you're saying? Because if that's if that's it, then that's fine. Um, I was saying that <laughs> I have been using pistols for pretty much the entirety of the game. But if that's if that's the case, then right. Okay. Um, don't. Oh, yeah, see, that's my fault for calling myself a heavy. I'm, I, I don't really use heavy weapons, that's the thing. <laughs> and saying that, um, I'm now actually overweight by a lot. And I can't really use his power armor anymore, simply because um, uh, I'm... Oh, God, can I not repair? Oh, I like the steel. Ah, that's annoying. I can't use heavy weapons anymore, simply because... Um, I, well, what was I saying? I don't even know. But yeah, basically I'm overweight. So Darkness, you're right as ever. Darkness, you're so strong. You're so, you're so smart. You're so clever. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, right. Oh god, I am overweight by a lot. I need to sell some junk. Darkness, are you aware you of sir? someone who can it's sell crap to me down here? Set up metal detectors. No, uh, I'll bar though. Actually, I need some supplies for the road. Alright, but... Go easy on the cans. I will. I need to sell crap down here. Um, what can I sell to you? Oh, you got like you got cool stuff. Shipment of anti antiseptic. Oh, cool. Just impacts. Yeah, you do. All right, cool. Can I sell you like guns? Cause I have a lot of guns to get rid of. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure that we don't need one of these pistols, and I'm pretty sure the answer is. The heavier one. Oh, the heavy one's the middle one. They're actually both weighing the, the exact same. They're basically the same pistol. Um, Alright, we'll get rid of that one. Yeah, we'll get rid of that one. God save. Alright, well, welcome to uh, Selling Simulator 2017. It is, the, uh, it is the show where I sell pretty much everything that I don't need because I'm way overweight. Because as uh, Darkness has quite clearly said in my chat, my strength needs to be a little higher than it currently is. Um, missile launcher. I don't do heavy weapons, really. Although saying that, everyone got angry at me when I sold the minigun last time, so kind of tempted to keep it, but I'm also tempted to sell it as well. I mean, what's this guy going to do with a flipping missile launcher? Nothing! We're going to get rid of that, though. Um, Alright, what else are we going to get rid of? Portal, ported powerful bite bolt action pistol. Easy for me to say. Uh, short heavy hunting rifle. I don't really need that. No, we're going to... What is that? Targeted agitated automatic laser pistol. That sounds sexy. Um, that is a legendary, but I don't want it. And I definitely don't want these two things. Yeah, I don't want that. I don't want that. I'm selling legendaries, guys. I've got to a point where I've got too many legendaries, and we're just selling them. We're just selling them. Uh, Alright, cool. Cheers. You've only got 14 caps left. Right, we're still massively overweight. I've probably got a lot of junk to get rid of. It's a workbench that I can just put it in. Uh, transfer. Store all junk. Brilliant. What's that got me down to? That's got me down to 237. Keep rocket and I can get you a minigun that make people set on fire. Darkness. That's why I keep you around. Thank you. That's the kind of information that I love. I love miniguns that set people on fire. Um, I'm going to keep... Yeah, I'm going to keep the missile launcher. Because um, I feel it's pretty good. Can I improve this? Like, is there any way that I can improve this? No, not really. Not really. I need one more person to sell to. Is the best. Someone sell me something. You know what? Deacon. Hey, Deacon. Deacon. Trade with me. Let's see what I got in my pockets. Trade with me. Uh, oh, cool. Uh, Deacon. I am entrusting you with... What am I entrusting you with? Um, I need to... Um, you know what? I'm entrusting you with my missile launcher. For now. I am not selling it, I am entrusting you with it. And also, one pulse mine. Nope, that's not going to do it. Okay, um, how about, uh, god damn it. 
A Minuteman outfit. There you go. I have entrusted you with that. Merry Christmas. If you lose it, you're dead. Right. Oh, God, look how fast I am. Okay, so, the reason why we did all that is because uh, our fusion core is pretty much out of juice. So, we're gonna have to go like this, unfortunately. We still have a lot of crap to sell. We really do. Jesus Christ, we have so much junk to sell, but it's fine for now. Okay, we're gonna go to the dead drop for Dr. Carrington. We were go to Good Neighbor. Why? What's a Good Neighbor? Are you telling me that the, mini the minigun's at Good Neighbor? Whilst I'm doing this quest, tell me what's a good neighbor, my good friend. Um, Darkness, that is. For those of you that don't know, Darkness is in chat with me right now. Darkness360 is one of my good followers. One of my good friends. You could also be a follower as well. If you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to come over and follow me. I'd love you forever. Uh, but yeah, she's uh, basically telling me that I need to go to good neighbor. I mean, I'm going to be doing this butcher quest first. Um, I want to do this butcher quest. I want to get to a point where the railroad are just satisfied. They keep asking me to do things, and I'm just I'm just doing them. I really want to get back to the main quest line, and I kind of want to find out what's happening with Nick Valentine and Kellogg's cornflakes, because um, that that's interesting. But I've I've just kind of <laughs> been distracted for a little bit. <laughs> It can't be helped. You know where it is? I do know I do know where Good Neighbor is. I have been to Good Neighbor quite a few times. Um, I went there to see uh, Hancock, who stabbed someone in the gut. Uh, I think I also went to a bar there as well. Did I go to a bar there? Talked to a lady called Magnolia, who I flirted with, who told me were um, uh, Imogene... Uh, Bot is. Oh, yes. No, that's what we're going to do. Before we do the butcher quest, we're going to go see Jack Cabot about the artifact. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. God, there's so much to do in this game. I love it. Uh, you have to go there and listen to some random people and you will get a quest. I did get a couple of quests from there. I think I got a miscellaneous quest to talk to someone called McCready. Um... I don't know if that's the one you're referring to. If it is just a random miscellaneous quest, then you can tell me in chat about it. I don't mind that being spoiled. So uh, if that is the case, then go ahead. You can talk. You can say that in chat. I won't be too angry. Uh, we're going to go to the Kavots before we do anything, because this is something I am interested in. Uh, oh, oh, okay. We're at, we're at the Insane Asylum still. Brilliant. <laughs> what is that? Oh, is that a fat man? Or is that the missile launcher? Yeah, that's the fat man. Dang, boy. Look at that. Well, yeah, it is like a catapult. Um, MC is a... Uh, McCready is a companion. It's a random quest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, okay. Um, okay. Do you know who I should be listening to? Like, anyone in particular that I should be listening to? Like... Could you guide me a little bit? I mean, I, I mean, again, you need to talk to some girl. To some girl, okay. Uh, does this girl have a name, or is she just settler, like random settler? I mean, I may already have the quest. I may already have the quest. Um, uh, I will take a look. I will take a look in my miscellaneous. I assume it's miscellaneous anyway. Oh, everyone moved for a second there. That was really weird. I know, Deacon. I know. I killed all these guys, Deacon. This was me. This was all me, buddy. And this guy still has ammo. Really letting my letting my guard down, letting people have ammo. Not really. She has a name. She has a name. Is it Magnolia? I've spoken to someone called Magnolia before. If it's Magnolia, then... Uh, oh, hello. Wait. Okay. I thought that was just a sheer drop there. <laughs> Alright. See you later, Deacon. I forgot, but she is in the back alley. Right, so that won't be Magnolia then. Magnolia was in the bar with the red dress, looking all fancy. And we like the fancy ladies. We're still looking for a love interest for the big guy, Roy Silver, so... Yeah. Um, alright. Jack! Jackie boy, give me the good news. Excuse me. Ah, you're back. Good news. Brilliant. We figured out how to access the artifact's telekinesis effect. Oh, it is Magnolia, is it? Right, okay. Laser rifle. 
Oh. There's no way to control it without direct neural input. Yeah. Better or worse, all of that was destroyed when my father died. Right. I still have a rather powerful directed force here. Oh, you're going to give me a laser rifle. Oh my god, what is that? Ah. Oh. Wait, no, not Magnolia. Brilliant. <laughs> Look what I did. Look what I did! What does this do? Oh my, it puts me overweight, that's what it does, but... Wow, it takes gamma rounds. Okay. Dang. Cheers, buddy. I'm impressed. You made a neat gun. Thanks. I hope you find some use for it. As for myself, I don't know. Maybe I'll finally travel to the Southwest. You really should. My father was always convinced that there was another alien city buried somewhere in the Mojave Desert. I've been there, mate. Um, quite a few aliens. Quite a few aliens around that place. Uh, okay. I am now overweight again. Fantastic. Deacon. Hey, tell me Deacon, what trade with me. <laughs> Alright, um, okay. Here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. Just for you, my good friend, the Darkness360, uh, I will... You know, hold this. Hold this for me. It weighs a flipping ton. Hold this for me. Um, I will go to Good Neighbor, and I will examine Good Neighbor, and we will see... What what's there? This is for you. This is for you, darkness. This is for you. So you are saying that there is a woman in the alley of Good Neighbor, and you are saying that if I listen to her, she will give me a random quest. Is that what you are saying? We're gonna quickly check my quest log. Uh, if you feel like you know any of those miscellaneous quests, can I can I somehow like? Right, so, any of these. So, if you remember any of these quests, investigate the Pikmin Gallery, talk to Bobby. I feel Bobby might be the one. Uh, Museum of Witchcraft, talk to McCready, talk to the Bobrob Brothers, check the detective... Uh, <laughs> can't talk. Check the detective cases. Um, I'm sure it's not going to be those. But yeah, I, I bet the one you're talking about is talk to Bobby. Let me know if it is. Let me know if it is. All right, open says me. We're out of here. We're out of here, boys. We're out of here. Uh, right. Butcher Bill. Butcher Bill, boys. Butcher Bill. Got to see. I, I came in today. I came into stream today with a plan. Gonna go do some main quest stuff. Gonna be a cool guy. See Nick Valentine again. See what's up with Kellogg. Try and find our son. But no. Here I am. Trying to do another quest for the flipping railroad. <laughs> God damn it. Me and my pursuits for love interests. Anyway, um, where is this one set? It's, uh, oh, okay. It's actually near Good Neighbor. Kinda. Old corner bookstore. Yeah, we'll go there. We'll go there. You don't think it is Bobby. Right, okay. That is interesting. Just walk around Good Neighbor. Alright, let me pick up the dead drop first, and then we'll go to Good Neighbor, and we'll walk around. I mean, I don't want to be walking around aimlessly for, like, forever. Uh, that, that's, that's, not, that's not good viewing. That's not good viewing. I mean, I don't think any of this is, like, good viewing, but... <laughs> I, um, I don't want to be walking around forever doing nothing, so... Uh, we'll have a quick look around, good neighbor, alright? You can kind of guide me. Which, is, which always works well, considering that there's a bit of a stream delay, but... Uh, yeah, hopefully we can find this quest. Like, is it a massively important quest? Do you know? Is it something that will excite me and tickle my fancy? Rah. Hello, dog. My dog's come to say hello. So I'm stroking his face. Hello, dog. I miss dog meat. Yeah. I really miss dog meat. Yeah, seeing my dog just reminded me that I've not had dog meat for a while. Not dog meat, like the actual food. Uh, dog meat, uh, my, my companion. I, I don't eat dog meat. I am not Mad Max. Original Mad Max. I don't, oh, God. Brilliant. <laughs> ah, mines. Why? Why'd you do this to me? Why? God damn it. Um, do I actually have any stim packs? I do. I have one. Brilliant. Okay. Please, no more mines. Oh. Oh, nice. Okay. Ah! Wow. I'm not not happy, guys. No, just run. 
Dude, just run. Just run, dude. Alright, dead drops here. We look to be relatively safe. Famous last words. Uh, Blackbird report. Bolt caps. Boop -ba -do. Find Agent Blackbird. Alright, we're off to Good Neighbor. We're going to find Agent Blackbird once we have gone to Good Neighbor. Good Neighbor is here. Alright. Darkness. You have now taken the reins of my stream. This is now your stream. I am basically a voice that is channeling your words. Look for a door in an alley with like a slider. That sounds good enough. That's some pretty good descriptions there. That is a pretty good description. Turns a blind eye All right. Activities. Makes good neighbor a great place to lay low. Quite right. And that is a lovely hat. I mean, you were Bruce Willis. You're now John Wayne. Well, not really. But anyway. Okay, so we're looking for an alley. Right, there's not many places to go. This looks like an alley. With like a slider. I mean, we have a warehouse here. We'll go down here. Um, not a slider. You oh! Looking for work? Uh, yeah? Yeah, when can I start? Well, aren't you an eager beaver? Kinda. You don't mind a little manual labor. And don't ask too many questions. You're in. I, I don't ask any questions. To start. Oh, thank you. Interested? Um, I'm in. I'm in. That's what I like to hear. What do I do? Let's go inside. I'll give you the lowdown. Okay. Um, darkness. I'm sorry. I've kind of been hijacked. Uh, I've been hijacked by Bobby. Oh, it is the Bobby one. Right. Okay. Okay. We have. We've confirmed that it is Bobby. Okay. So, Darkness, as you are in control of my stream, as you have been so good um, to, to come here today, we are going to do the Bobby quest. This one... Well, we're going to do one of them anyway. Um, I don't... Wait. Wait, what? Bobby? Oh, wait, no, I'm not actually marked as the Bobby quest, am I? Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, Butcher, Big Dick. All right, here we go. All right, where are we? Big Bob Aruba, where are you? You upstairs? You're upstairs, aren't you? Oh, no, you're probably downstairs. If the quest is called Big Dig, you're probably downstairs. Um, yeah, you're downstairs, because the little arrow says. All right, what's going on in here? Ready to right. get to work. Are you a lady? Is that actually a lady? Just at the end, don't side with Bobby. Just Won't do. What I need to do. It's a simple Will do. Won't do? I have no idea. You are going to be doing some digging. Brilliant. I love digging. I'm your guy. I'm your guy. No one likes a brown noser. The other two are down there digging already. Right. Go give them a hand, will you? Sure thing, Buster Bill. Sure thing, Buster Rhymes. Sure thing, Buster, uh, Rabbit? I don't know. <laughs> right, okay. So wait, I'm digging. Have you just, like, kind of, you've kind of sentenced me to, uh, manual labor for the rest of my life, haven't you? God damn it. God damn it, darkness. How dare you? How very dare you. Nah, it's alright. You did good. This quest looks bad. Alright, let's do it. So apparently I'm not to side with Bobby. Now, of course, I would probably wouldn't side with Bobby anyway, because ghouls scare me. But, um, I will see. I mean, I may end up siding with Bobby. But I probably won't. Oh god, what's going on down here? Oh. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey buddy. Talk to me. No. I don't know, man. Bobby won't pay you. What have we got in here? Oh, God. Oh! Oh, no, not my alerts. Good luck down there, new guy. Cheers. Cheers, man. Cheers. Is Deacon here? Oh, that's a my luck. Okay. Do I have any kind of explosive? Explosive appears to be my method of killing my alerts. Uh, frag, frag mine. Don't mind if I dizzle. Catch! Boom! Oh, I'm another. Boom! Alright, here we go. Big headshots. Headshots Malloy right now. Where's that head? What? That's the shell. That's the shell. Why am I shooting the shell? Um, you know what? Screw it. Screw it. Screw that. Screw that. One down. Two down. Uh, boom! Winner! Right. Good to go. We did it. Hey, Bobby. I killed some Milux. 
Uh, Meyer lurks. That room was filled with Meyer lurks. At least you put up a better fight than those good for nothings. Well, you stuck oh. around. Oh, oh, the dig is to Diamond City. So I guess oh, okay. You're you get to be my new gun. Oh. I think we just need one more guy, an old friend. Oh God. He'll want a fair cut, but we saw what being cheap got me. Right. Who's the guy? Who is this guy? He's just the guy we need to speed things along. Name? Likes gadgets, money, and not much else. First, I think it's best if you actually see what we're after. I have some things to check on in Diamond City. Right. Okay. I'm scared now. Shop there, and I'll meet you when I finish up my business. All right. Head to Diamond City. Fair enough. Deacon, thanks for helping. Okay. Um. I'm really scared. <laughs> I'm really scared right now. I don't trust Bobby. I mean, I used to know someone uh, called Bobby, a girl called Bobby in my high school, and she was an absolute nightmare. So, like, I don't know how this is going to be any better. Not that, like, everyone is, um, you know, tarnished by having a certain name, but still, don't trust people called Bobby, guys. It's not hard. They're, they're evil. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I mean, look, I, I've, if siding with Bobby means the destruction of Diamond City, then I'm not down with that. So, yeah, right, let's head to Diamond City and see what she wants. Um, I've not been to Diamond City for flipping ages. Where is it? There it is. Diamond City. All right, here we go. Here we go. We can do some buying. We can do some, like, uh, some, some buying and selling whilst we're in Diamond City. We do need more ammo. We do need more stim packs. So we'll go for a little bit of that. We can wear our charisma hat and get a, a little bit of a... Uh, excuse me. We'll get a, a couple of bargains, hopefully. Fingers crossed. All right. Weapon mods that increase weight also increase the time it takes to aim. Good to know. One of these kind of tool tips during... No, she just fights them, I think. Ah, okay, fair enough. Uh, one of these tooltips during the loading screens told me that there's such thing as a stealth uh, death, death claw, which scares the crap out of me. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, beautiful Diamond City. Oh, it's Nat. Hey, Nat. How you doing? Oh, we, lo we love Nat. Nat's a good one. Nat's a good girl. Uh, right, I need to do some buying and selling, really. I know she's right there, but we're going to do some buying and selling. At uh, Murder. Surplus, everything you need. Hey, baby. You again. All right, got plenty of supplies. Cool, good to know. Bart and me, Murder. I didn't use my hat. Oh, I didn't use my charisma hat. Doesn't matter. All right. Give me all your ammo. Boop. Yep. Give me all your stim packs. Um. How much is that? 855? Nah. We'll take four. Boop. Thank you. Boop. Thank you very much. All right. Talk to me. There you are. <laughs> Was wondering if you were going to show up. Right. Yes, Big Bob Aruba, talk to me. I have to hide my face in these parts. Oh, you look lovely. Like me, are you my new love interest? Here. Chameleon uh, death claws. Yeah. They sound the terrifying. Glass looming over Diamond City is the mayor's office. Right. Most people don't know it. But there's a strong room buried beneath. Oh. It's just sitting on top of it. And that's our target. What's in it? The guy has it coming, if you ask me. With how he treats my kind, maybe he deserves worse. Okay. What's inside? What's inside? Caps, meds, food. Enough to keep this city running. It's things we want. Things everyone wants. You get in on this. There's plenty for you. Oh, God. God. So, what do I you feel like I'm in The Walking Dead right bigger. now. Oh, you're in a settlement and you've got lots of things we need. So, we're going to kill you all and take it anyway. Lol. The guy can make a gadget to solve any problem. Thing is, he's a bit locked up. Alright, where's he locked up, Baba Ruba? You have to get him out of there. I can't just stroll into Diamond City security with this face. <laughs> Pinky. Aardvark. I agree. I agree. I think Aardvark is a fantastic name. Um, it's, a it's actually a lady, apparently, and she's called Bobby No-Nose. She doesn't like to be seen in public, so uh, I think, yeah, I think I prefer Aardvark. I think that's a great name. How are you doing today, pooks? 
How you doing? You having a good day? Security officer. Tell at me office. About this security office. It's built into some old locker rooms. <laughs> and it smells the pot. Private guard. This isn't Got it. Maximum security prison. And it isn't heavily guarded. Brilliant. No problem for someone like uh -huh. Yeah, Bobby, I got it. Pick a lock, find a key, bribe the guard, the usual stuff. I mean, uh, I, do I have to bribe the guard, or can I just like freestyle it? All right, we're gonna freestyle it. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. We're gonna see what we can do here. All right, let's do it. Uh, how do we get there? <laughs> Deacon, we're 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 gonna bust someone out. All right, how do we even get there? I have absolutely no idea. Um, it's up there somewhere. Uh, I may sneeze on Mike in a second, so prepare your butts for that. All right, through here. All right, here we go. I feel like I should save actually. Yeah, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna quickly save. I hope you guys don't mind me save scrubbing all the time. Not bad, man. Had a good sleep. You know what? That is good. I wish I had a good sleep. I had some weird dreams last night. I mean, I don't remember them. All I re all I know is that they were really, really weird. There was a lot of music. And, like, annoying music. Music that keeps playing all, all the time in the dream. It was really, really weird. Um, don't kill them. Alright. Don't worry about it, darkness. I will not kill them. I mean, thankfully, I've woken up and I've done everything I needed to do today. And it's a beautiful sunny day here in England. Still. Beautiful sunny day. I mean, we had thunder and lightning last night, but Jesus Christ, it's a lovely day today. All right. Um, Gwyneth's beer. New seasonal brews on tap. Lovely. Join or die. Very harsh stone. Very harsh stone. What are you dressed in? How do you keep doing this, Deacon? God damn it. All right. Hey, guys. How you doing? We all good? Huh? Hey, man. Hey Talk there. to me. You got something to say? Um. Ah, oh, 300 caps? Are you kidding me? Darkness, you owe me 300 caps. What did Mel do? Why is Mel in here? Him? He was caught trying to reprogram the robot bartender at the tap house to give him free drinks. Ah, <laughs> <Just to keep laughs> nice. I would totally do that if I knew how. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're not that bothered about the crime that he's committed, then just let him out. I was hoping to get. Mel at a lockup. No way. He's gonna serve his time just like everyone else. Can I can you I maybe bribe you? Deacon, please. I'll give you three hundred caps to let Mel out of there. Keep your voice down, will ya? Yeah? I shouldn't be doing this. But fine, if you need him that bad. Brilliant. Alright. Free to go, buddy. All right, we got Mel. We got Mel. Oh, you're oh, Pookie, you're in California, are you? Oh, okay, cool, man, yeah, cool. California was very busy yesterday, wasn't it? The whole uh, Democratic primary. Oh yes, I I read all the read all the news. But uh, we don't talk about politics. Well, we do actually talk about politics in this chat, but we're not going to do it today because <laughs> I know I don't really know enough. All right, Mel. All right, so we've rescued Mel. We have rescued Mel, Darkness. And we've rescued him. Now, what's he going to do for us? What is he going to do for us right now? I mean, look, he's running away like a croc. Talk to me, Mel. Oh my Thanks god, you're beautiful. <laughs> yes. so, right. You're Bobby's new toy. Yeah, I am. Uh, Bobby sent me. Bobby asked me to get you out. I bet it was just out of the kindness of her huge heart, right? No. Oh well, I mean, that woman doesn't have a I would have done it for a woman, body. but no. I wasn't serving a life sentence here. What, she couldn't wait like a day? No. That's the job. Uh, it is the Diamond City Strong Room. How'd you like to help break into the Diamond City Strong Room? Well, damn. That's a big score. That is a big there score. Camps there to keep me going for a long time. Bobby may be shady, but she always pays up in the end. So, I guess I'll get my stuff and head over to her place. Okay, there you go. Okay, so we have recruited Mel. Meet the gang in the big dig. Okay. Uh, oh god, yes. Got sick of phone ringing off the hook. Oh, did he did he hound you like for your vote and stuff? Like, did did he ask you who you voted for or or whatever? Like, like how does it work? I'd love to know. I'd love to know. Cause like I know here in England, after like an election, like after the voting period, you do get people knocking on doors saying, "Have you voted yet? Who you voted for?" 
I imagine it's the same over there. I mean, the California one, kind of important. Uh, was it important? I don't know. I think Trump versus Clinton's been on the cards for quite a while, but, uh, you know, quite an, it's, quite, it's a big one because there's a lot of delicates at stake. You have to kill Mel and Bobby in the end. Brilliant. I mean, that might have been a little too spoilerific, but that's fine, Darkness. I still love you. I still love you. I mean, I don't want to kill Mel. Can I just kill Bobby? Like, I'm kind of sad now. Apparently I have to kill Mel and Bobby. Oh well. Rip. <laughs> uh, rip dreams. I mean, look, Mel seems like quite a nice chap. Maybe if I kill Bobby, um, you know, it, it'll be fine. We'll see. We'll see. Yes, they do that, constantly asking that question. <laughs> Well, I mean, you got to remember, they're only doing a job. They may be annoying, but um, somebody's got to do it, right? So, uh, yeah. Um, it's unfortunate. No one no one likes to be harassed by anyone on the phone, but, uh, yeah, that's, that, that's unfortunately a thing. Oh, well. It's all over now, anyway. Primaries are done. You don't, you don't have to worry until the actual vote now. So you're good. You're good now. Y your job's over. I think Washington DC still needs to do some primary kind of thing, but yeah. Just wait, because side with the other girl. Alright. Alright. Will do. Okay. Let's, what have we got in here? Guys, where are you? Um. Alright, fellas. Again, what can oh. I say? I hey, gorgeous. How you doing? So, what's the deal with the new guy? Oh, Talk to me. I got lucky with this one. Came right up to my door and took the job. I did. He takes orders and he's useful in fight. What more could I want? And yeah, I'm so super bad. loyal as well, apparently. Wink. Don't burn bridges this time. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Bobby, no, no, Bobby. talk to me. All right, we're all here. What's the heist? Hello? You want to introduce your little? Friend. Yeah, who's who's the little guy? Meet Sonia. Hey, Sonia. This little bot is gonna help us move through the earth like a mole rat on jet. Wicked. Oh, Deacon, rocking the level look. Good man. Uh, I'm impressed. I'm always impressed by robots. I'm excited to see what she can do. <laughs> I can't wait to show you. She's one of a kind. <laughs> I modified her radio systems to emit sonic pulses at frequencies that can... Ah, nice. Okay. Good science. Get to the strong room ten times faster than just digging. Well, I mean, that saves me a job. safer than loading this place up with dynamite. And also right, quieter. Get ready. I'm not completely sure how this place will respond. So, uh, brace yourselves. Sonia, do your thing. All right. Um, darkness. What do I do now? Do I let them do their thing? I feel like we've come pretty close here. I feel like I should be doing something. Um. Oh. That was loud. That was really loud. Now let's use that robot to get us to the strong room. Lead the way, tough guy. All right, baby. To a 